X's and O's on the KFAN Minnesota Vikings radio network is underway courtesy of U.S. Bank honoring the Vikings 60 greatest fans this season. Quarterbacks coach Clint Kubiak coming up later, but first Minnesota Vikings head coach Mike Zimmer just coached his 100th regular season game and the Vikings beat the Houston Texans. Welcome back to X's and O's coach and uh, through the first four games of the season at the uh, quarter mark. You, you got the fact that you guys got through that last week with zero positives after the Titans thing that for me, that's the story of the season so far. How about that? Yeah, I mean, our guys have done a good job. I think, uh, you know, all the protocols that we've had in place, uh, everybody's done a really nice job of uh, protecting one another, I guess is the best way to say it. Yeah, the, uh, the players in the Texans game, in my opinion, took punches and punched back. I mean, I thought you guys mostly looked good. And, and then Houston came punching at you with some good players. You punched back and won the game. How important is that? Yeah, it was good. Uh, I think it showed a lot of resiliency uh, in our football team. <clears throat> uh, you know, they, they scored, and then our offense went right back down and scored a couple times there late. And, um, you know, and then at the end of the ball game, we were able to stop them on the, on the fourth down play. Did you sense after the victory, either in the locker room or at Twin Cities Orthopedics Performance Center up to the Seattle game, like a bubble burst a little bit and people are looser and happier? Yeah, well, I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of weight off your shoulders when you when you play good and you win. Um, you know, we <clears throat> we had a chance to win the Tennessee game and didn't win that one. But I do see this team getting better each week. Um, you know, and hopefully we we'll go out to Seattle and, and uh, show it show it there. Mike, your rookie defensive end DJ Wanham, is, is he improving and getting good in a hurry? Yeah, he's improving each and every week. Um, you know, the, the more playing time he gets, the better he'll get. Uh, he's still got a long way to go, still learning, um, you know, but it's, it's nice to have another young guy that uh, you can kind of mold into what you want. Have you noticed with your guys or maybe around the league you know, in weeks three on, now we're coming up to week five, that these rookies who didn't get preseason games and had that weird offseason, the rookies are starting to take off a little bit. Yeah, I think most most of uh, these guys are starting to get into the rhythm of, you know, professional football and what it's like. And, uh, you know, they've had a little bit more time with the technique and, and uh, understanding how to study. You know, it, it, the, whole, the whole thing is different for them and, and not being in any preseason games or, or training camp or OTAs. Basically, um, you know, they got to learn quick. Now, with um, Unique Ngakwe, he's not a rookie, but he was new. He got here the week of the first game. So now he's played four. When it comes to Ngakwe, who does have four sacks and two forced fumbles, with Andre Patterson, defensive line coach, co-defensive coordinator, and of course you, when it comes to Unique giving you guys the complete game you need, uh, do you sense he's getting closer or is he there? Well, I think he's playing a lot more reckless now, you know, understanding what, what we're asking him to do. I thought he played very well last week in Houston. Um, you know, he, he was, uh, you know, still learning, you know, how we do things and how we kind of change. And we've adapted to some of the things that he can do well. And so, uh, you know, that's all been a little bit of a work in progress, but it, it's showing up a lot more now. Now, with uh, rookie Jeff Gladney, are you noticing – that his quick twitch is becoming more second nature. Things are just like when he knifed through and got David Johnson for that tackle for loss, pshoom, lickety split, he got in there fast. Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, he's feeling a lot more comfortable in, in everything as well. Um, you know, uh, he, he's, he's got a lot on his plate playing nickel, playing outside. Uh, you know, he's done some really nice, nice things. And so uh, the more that we keep repping him, the more that he keeps going, the better he'll get. Now, with uh, masks and protocol and legit lifestyle changes, at least for a few more months uh, with the players and coaches and stuff, specifically the players, what are you noticing from them compared to the way you've seen it for a super long time? Like mentally, it's just such a different time now. D do you notice it? Well, not so much on the field. You know, when the guys are out on the field, it's pretty, it's pretty normal. But, um, you know, the traveling and the hotels and, you know, not – 
you know, all the different things you have to do, that's, that's different, yeah. Mike Zimmer, X's and O's on the KFAN Minnesota Vikings Radio Network, courtesy of a U.S. Bank. Now, uh, Russell Wilson, uh, we talked about contain a little bit with Ngakwe. Uh, the importance of contain and keeping him in the pocket at least some of the time. Yeah, he's really tough to keep in there because uh, he'll come out in any different way. He'll come up through the middle. He'll come up through the B-gap. He'll come up outside. And they've got some protections in there where it allows him to get to the perimeter and then hold, hold the football. He's a great deep ball thrower. He's got lots of uh, receivers with big-time speed. And... Um, It'll, it'll be a good test for us. Now, you've, uh, you've had some epic battles against the Seahawks in your seven years that you've been coach of the Minnesota Vikings. Just overall, the Seahawks, what do you respect about their team and how they seem to stay good every year? Yeah, you know, um, I think Pete Carroll does a great job with, uh, you know, keeping his, keeping his guys competitive, keeping them fresh. Um, you know, we've had a lot of good battles. I know that... Uh, uh, you know, when they won the Super Bowl, we talked about, he said, man, you're running the ball good and playing good defense. And I said, yeah, I'm trying to be just like you. <laughs> so, uh, you know, so, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, but th now they're a little bit different offensively. You know, they're throwing the ball around a lot more. It's not as much ground and pound. Uh, and speaking of running the ball, Dalvin Cook, second to none in the NFL right now. Do you notice with Dalvin, is, is he setting up his blocks better than ever, specifically when he gets out to the perimeter? Yeah, uh, Dalvin does a great job setting up blocks all the time, but, uh, you know, he's very difficult to, to tackle in the open field. Uh, not very many times do, does one guy get him, um, uh, but he's, he's got great balance, great toughness, and great determination. And I know you always have been very fond of Dalvin the guy, you know, where he's come from and who he is now. In chatting with Gary Kubiak on my KFAN radio show earlier this week, he intimated that Dalvin is assuming a little more of a, a leadership role kind of behind the scenes, a little more vocal. Are you noticing that? Yeah, you know, Dalvin was fairly vocal with the offense uh, a year ago. and uh, But it's it's more so now. Uh, you know, he's more of a – he's more of the – fiery leader kind of guy that uh, you know has shown up and and that's a good thing we, we need that your offensive tackles Riley Reef and Brian O'Neill specifically the last two with uh, what you're asking almost in all facets of the game my opinion is it seems they're going along pretty well do you see that yeah, they're doing a nice job. Uh, you know, I think we've done a nice job mixing up protections. Uh, they're, they're both physical tough guys, and uh, I'm glad they're on our team. So from, uh, from an offensive standpoint with the way Thielen, Jefferson, and Cook are going right now, I mean, that, that's legitimately difficult for defenses to stop on a weekly basis. What, uh, what a luxury. Yeah, it's great uh, being able to have the running game and the play actions and, and having these receivers that we do. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that Irv Smith and, and Kyle will be a, a factor in there as well. Yeah, and with Irv, one catch for 14 yards. I mean, is that, it's weird. Is it explainable? Well, yeah, there's a couple, you know, there's uh, one of the first third down of the game, he got held pretty good and didn't get called, but uh, he had a chance to get the ball there. And then there was another one that they kind of, messed up the coverage and kind of fell underneath him another time uh, later on in, on the game. So um, I think he'll continue to get a lot of catches. Yeah, see, and with Irv also, I mean, all the way back to Madison's first touchdown in 2019 against the Raiders when he had a nice block up the middle. You know, Irv, that 39-yard run by Dalvin Cook against Tennessee, Irv Smith Jr. got the key block at the end. So, I mean, he's giving you mostly a complete game, right? Yeah, uh, he's getting better and better all the time at, at his blocking and even pass protection when he's in protection. So, um, you know, he's running good routes. He's catching the ball well. Uh, you know, I think uh, it'll, it'll start getting spread around a little more. Time for two more uh, with Gary Kubiak. How excited is he with, uh, with Cook and Thielen and uh, Jefferson and just things really starting to open up? Yeah, I think he, he really enjoys, the, num, number one, the, this offensive group. You know, they're, they're a good bunch of guys, good veterans. I think, he, you know, he, he loves the offensive coaching staff and uh, being able to work with Kirk and, and the rest of the guys, I think that's big. What, uh, what's it like watching Seattle offense and not seeing that beef eater George Fant come in as the unbalanced extra guy? Yeah, well, they're not doing much of that, but they got a lot of beef up front. They're, <laughs> they're pretty big and physical. Uh, and finally, DK Metcalf, I mean, talented, got drafted high, Adonis-type body. But, I mean, what's gotten into him this year? 25 yards per catch. Yeah, well, he's caught some bombs. Uh, you know, they, they'll they max protect, and uh, he'll end up just throwing him a deep one. Uh, he's had several of those. 
Um, you know, so we, we're going to have to be on our P's and Q's with him. Thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck. All right, Paul. Thank you.